Hello students, now in this video we are going to discuss about 12th standard computer science chapter 16 data visualization using pie plot, line chart, pie chart and bar chart. Last class we discussed about how to draw a line chart in python programming language. Okay, now in this class we are going to discuss about floating two lines. To float two lines use the following code. So we must include a module matplotlib in python program to draw a line chart. Okay. So import the keyword import is used to import the modules. So import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Here pyplot is the function name and plt is the object is used in this uh, matplotlib okay so we access the uh, members of this matplotlib by using the plt object x equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and y equal to 5 comma 7 comma 4 so in this example we are taking four points x y x2 y2 here x and y is used to draw a line 1 and then x2 y2 points are used to draw the second line that is line 2 ok so y equal to 5 comma 7 comma 2 x axis and y axis values are given ok and then next one is x2 equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and y2 is equal to 10 comma 14 comma 12 so plt dot plot x comma y comma label equal to line 1 here label is given label is nothing but it's it it gives the name of that particular line okay line 1 plt dot plot that is second line x2 comma y2 label equal to line 2 plt dot x labels x axis here x labels and y labels this attributes are used to uh, say the names of x axis and y axis and then plt dot title this function is used to show the title of the chart okay so we are giving the title of the chart as line graph and then plt dot legend the legends are written and then plt dot show this function is used to show the chart on the display screen okay now you can see the output you can see this one this is a two lines uh, line chart uh, graph using python programming language okay here x axis and y axis are given okay x axis uh, uh, x label and y label function is used to show the x axis and the y axis names and then the value of line 1 line 1 values are x comma y okay so and then uh, line 2 is used to draw the lines by using the value of x2 comma y2 the legend is specified in the right corner line 1 and line 2 for that we are using the legend function and then line graph the title of the chart can be displayed here line graph so if you want to display the title then we can use the function uh, a plt dot title okay so through this function we can able to display the title of the chart okay is it clear ma okay next we see about uh, buttons in the output screen what are the buttons are available for what purpose we are using each and every buttons okay so in the output figure you can see few buttons at the bottom left corner let us see the use of this buttons okay home button forward or backward buttons pan axis buttons zoom button configure subplots button and then save the figure button okay so home button we know what is the purpose in video player we are using this all these buttons no the same purpose only here also we are using home button if we want to move on to the first page that is opening page then we can click on this home button if you are doing some navigation process we are moving to some other pages now if we want to uh, if you want to move the first page that is beginning page of the graph then we just click on this home button okay the home button will help once you have begin navigating navigating your chart if your chart want to return back to the original view you can click on this okay so when you are navigating the pages we are moving on to some other 
some other position or some other uh, pages then if you want to go on to the original page original view then we just click on this home button and then forward or backward button can be used like the forward and back button in your browser you are using in browser no forward and backward button the same process here also done you can click this to move back to the previous point you were at or forward again okay and then next pan access button this cross looking button allows you to click it and then click and drag your graph around okay so we can select a particular position and click and drag the particular graph part by using this pan access button and then zoom button is used to uh, enlarge the particular area and see the points and see the lines on that particular area okay configure soft plots um, this button allows you to configure various spacing options with your figure and plot okay and then if you want to save the graph then we can use a save figure this button will allow you to save your figure in various forms so special float types we can also special float types mat float lib allows you to create different kinds of flats ranging from histograms and scatter flats to bar graphs and a bar chart line charts we already learned no what is mean by line chart we just mark the points that is x axis and y axis values and then draw a straight line and that marks is known as line chart okay so we just mark the points x axis and y if for example 1 comma 2 means we just make a point in this place 1 comma 2 x axis 1 and y axis 2 and then 1, 2 comma 3 means x axis uh, to y axis 3 and then draw a straight line this type of chart is known as line chart okay a line chart or line graph is a type of chart which displays information as a series of data points called mark markers okay connected by straight line segment these points are connected by straight line segment a line chart is often used to visualize a trend in data over intervals of time a time series okay so yeah, the chart is used to know the time series uh, the intervals between the different points okay and then uh, now you can see the example for line plot so if you want to draw a graph then we must include a module matplotlib so if you want to include any module then we use a keyword import import and then module name a module name is matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so years equal to 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 okay now we are going to uh, use the points years and total population here uh, years is considered as the x-axis values and the total population is considered as the y-axis values okay so total population is equal to here also five numbers are given so plt dot flat years comma total population okay we are flat the points that is mark the points based on this uh, years and total population values plt dot title this function title function is used to display the graph title okay so the title is year versus population in india plt dot x labels we are giving the x axis label as year and then y axis label is total population okay so the label means it just display the name and x axis and y axis so plt dot show this function is used to show the graph on the display screen so in this program plt dot title specifies the title to the graph and then plt dot x label specifies the label for x axis okay and then plt dot y label specifies labels for y axis now you can see this uh, graph this is known as a line graph okay we are drawing a straight line alone okay so uh, the 
graph title is year versus population in India. See the x axis name. What is the name is given? Year. And then y axis name is total population. Okay. Y axis. What is the name is given? Total population. Y axis name. And then the values are given. Mark the points. You first mark the point and then draw a straight line. Okay. So next one is bar chart. A bar chart is one of the most common type of plot. A relationship between a numerical variable and a categorical variable. Okay. So this bar chart is used to uh, place the relationship between the numerical and the categorical variable. Okay. Bar chart represent categorical data with rectangular bars. So we know what is meant by bar is a rectangular bar is there. So we are using rectangular bar to represent the points. Each bar as corresponds to the value it represents. The bars can be flatted vertically or horizontally. Okay, we can draw the bar either in vertical or horizontal shape. It's usually when we want to compare a given numeric value on different categories. Okay, so bar chart means we can draw the points based on the bar. Okay, we can draw bar in two different shapes either we can draw the vertical shape bar or horizontal shape bars okay it's useful when we want to compare a given numeric value on different categories to make a bar chart with the matplotlib we can use the plt dot bar function okay so last line chart which function is used plt dot flat plt dot plot flat function is used now if you want to draw a bar chart then we must use the function plt dot bar function okay now you can see the example import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so labels what are the labels are given this is known as categorical data okay tamil english max physics chemistry cs usage is equal to 79.8 comma 67.3 comma 77.8 comma 68.4 comma 70.2 comma 88.5 so generating the y positions later we will use them to replace them with the labels okay so y position equal to range of length of labels here l e n so this is the function used to find the length okay l e n function is used to find the length of the label so length is nothing but the number of elements present in this variable label so how many numbers how many elements are there tamil english max physics chemistry computer science totally six elements are there okay so the range is given six creating our bar flat plt dot bar y position comma usage so y positions are created based on the range okay so uh, so what is the value it ranges from six and then plt dot x ticks y position comma labels so plt dot y label of range and then plt dot title is marks plt dot show we already know the show function is used to show the graph on the monitor now you can see the bar chart here tamil english max physics chemistry cs so this is all known as a x axis values and then y axis values are given 0 20 40 60 20 80 and then their ranges are given okay so based on that range values so what is the value for tamil is 79.8 so the draw bar is drawn up to 79.8 and then english is 67.3 so 67.3 English values are given and then max is 77.8 okay like that the bar chart can be drawn okay. So the above code represents the following labels specifies labels for the bars usage assign values to the labels specified x ticks so this x ticks is used to display the tick mark on the values okay a range create a sequence of numbers. Now you can see what is the key difference between histogram and bar graph. The difference between histogram and bar graph are as follows. Histogram refers to a graphical representation that displays data by way of bars to show the frequency of numerical data. A bar graph is a pictorial representation of data that uses bars to compare different categories of data. Okay, So here...
it is chart the first chart is known as a bar graph and then second one is known as a histogram okay so the histogram refers to a graphical representation that displays data by way of bars to show the frequency of numerical data okay it show the frequency of numerical data but in bar chart is a pictorial representation of data that uses bars to compare different categories of data a histogram represents the frequency distribution of continuous variables conversely a bar graph is a diagrammatic comparison of discrete variables okay so uh, here the histogram it shows the continuous uh, data variations okay continuous form of data but in bar graph we are using the discrete variables histogram presents numerical data whereas bar graph shows categorical data okay so it shows only the numerical data but bar graph it have the categorical data also the histogram is drawn in such a way that there is no gap between the bars okay see this diagram there is no gap between the bars bars no on the other hand there is a proper spacing between the bar chart okay bars in the bar graph that indicates a discontinuity so here continuous range of values that's why we are not leaving any space in histogram but in bar chart there is a equal space between the bars items of the histograms are numbers which are categorized together to represent a range of data as opposed to the bar graph items are considered as individual entities in the case of bar graph it is quite common to rearrange the blocks from highest to lowest but with histogram this cannot be done okay so here we can able to rearrange the charts also in bar chart but in uh, histogram we are not able to arrange uh, rearrange the charts but the width of rectangular blocks in a histogram may or may not be same while the width of the bars in a bar graph is always the same okay so see this the width of the bar is always same in bar graph but in histogram may or may not be the same width that is the difference between bar graph and the histograms okay is it clear now we move for the pie chart pie chart is probably one of the most common type of chart it is a circular graphic which is divided into slices to illustrate numerical proposition we know no pie chart so pie chart is a is just like a circle shape and then the different partitions are denoted by slicing the chart okay the points of a pie chart is to show the relationship of parts out of a whole to make a pie chart with matplotlib we can use the plt.py function okay so if you want to draw a line chart what is the function as used plt.plot function if you want to draw a bar chart then we use plt.bar bar chart okay and then if you want to draw a pie chart then which function is used plt.pie plt.py function the auto P, uh, auto pct parameters allows us to display the percentage values using the python string formatting okay now we are going to draw the pie pie chart by say this example import matplotlib dot pie plot as plt size is equal to 89 comma 80 comma 90 comma 100 comma 75 and then labels equal to the amari english max science social plt dot pi we are using this two points sizes comma labels okay so labels equal to labels auto pct equal to percentage dot to f that is after the decimal point two places are used two points two decimal points are noted for that we are giving point two f plt dot access dot set aspect of equal okay plt dot show this function is used to show the pie chart on the monitor okay now you can see this um, see how much of space uh, for tamil what is the value is given 89 89 means how many percentage it takes uh, 20 point 5 uh, 20.51 so how we can calculate the percentage we just uh, add all this uh, values and divided by total number of elements okay and then we get the percentage of this each and every language okay so tamil english uh, for that uh, for finding this percentage only we are using the function 
uh, which function name is used for uh, using this one plt dot aspect okay plt dot access dot set a s p e c t okay aspect function is used for finding the percentage value of this one okay is it clear ma so which function is used to find the percentage auto p c t a u t o p c t auto p c t okay so auto p c t is equal to percentage point to f so this function is used to find the percentage value of the given points okay so that's all about this lesson okay students thank you